right, this is Mayan Chao with RVMAX.US and today we have a 2009 Prevo H345 that has been converted by Featherlight Coach. And this coach is a stainless steel monocoque or unibody chassis, which, you know, the Prevo buses are known as the epitome of the uh, chassis quality and build quality in a bus. It's been beautifully converted by Featherlight coaches. Being a quad slide is a rare thing. There are not a ton of quad slide Prevo buses even to this day um, in the new model coaches. Now, in the front, we've got, of course, that updated um, H345 look with two large pieces of glass. The face is in excellent shape, and this generation H345, to me, looks quite nice, both on the front and the rear. And the condition of these pieces of glass are, uh, are quite excellent, actually. There aren't any chips or cracks that I have spotted on these pieces of glass. The seals look really nice. And um, you gotta love Prevo for not wanting to give up that center beam of strength there. Now we've got a very bright set of headlights, high beam and low beam, and the face of the coach, um, you know, there's not really that many imperfections. There's a small little rock chip there, maybe one or two others you'll find, but it's actually in pretty good shape. Now we've got dual Velvac mirrors that are beautifully painted. And the sides of the coach are just gorgeous. Now this has 365 size tires on both the front steer axle and the tag axle. And the amount of windows that are afforded on any Prevo bus chassis is just magnificent, especially on these H3s that have this unique window that's slanted here, giving you a really cool perspective when you're inside the coach, especially when you consider the fact that this has a TV that folds up into the ceiling, which reveals a very nice view out of the front pieces of glass. So all those pieces of glass in the front, including that small one there, um, just create this gorgeous cockpit scenery uh, that lets in a ton of natural light. Now the paint is quite intricate. These gold stripes have a ton of detail in them with all kinds of colors, the red, the garnet, the rest of the paint kind of brought out in a swirl that looks sort of like a milkshake or a Rocky Road milkshake. It's awesome. There are some cracked panels down on the lower parts. It's unfortunately common to see on H345 body panels and it's a simple fix, but it just takes time. Now all around the rooftop of the coach, we've got the um, extra body pieces that make the coach look a whole lot more substantial than the older buses that don't have that. It's matched on the other side of the coach, so it just makes it look taller and more proportional, even though it's not any taller than your standard uh, Prevo bus conversion H345. Now this coach has large tanks in it. We've got a 160 plus gallon fresh tank, around 100 gallons of gray tank capacity, and about 67 gallons of black tank. So the tanks are very large. Um, and this is a bath and a half floor plan. So in the back of the coach here, we have our master bathroom. And then in the center, we've got a half bath. So two, to two toilets in the coach. Um, and around back is where you get another gorgeous view. The top cap has a little wing built in the fiberglass that looks very nice and slick, especially when you're looking at those two stainless exhaust pipes for our generator and for our aqua hot unlimited hot water system. Now the engine access is phenomenal. You know, that's a big plus about buying a Prevo bus along with many other things. And this is the 14 liter Detroit series 60 producing 515 horsepower and about 1,600 pound-feet of torque. And that's connected to an Allison 4000 series transmission. And this has a transmission retarder built in the stock, which is uh, quite powerful. There are six different levels of slowing down or stopping force. So you can really um, get the exact amount of stopping force you'd like, and it's quite powerful as well. Now, the rear of this coach, um, we do have a hitch, and this coach can tow 20 thousand pounds so a stainless steel monocoque chassis does afford us a ton of things 
um, in some of which are safety features. Uh, in fact, these are some of the few buses on the road that can actually survive horrible situations you might get into in a coach. Um, and then another pro of that, of course, is a 20,000 pound towing capacity. Now the rear vision camera is mounted up in that dome there, and it is a total vision camera that can swivel around and give you an excellent perspective off the rear of the coach, um, including your corners and looking around horizontally. It's a fantastic camera system. So the passenger side of this coach is where we've got our main patio space. We've got a great entertainment setup. And this is really where you're gonna have fun and enjoy yourself. The bottom of the coach here has RGB LED lights, so you can really uh, have them go crazy or you can set a specific color you like and it gives you nice patio space accent lighting. Now we're gonna check out the bays more in depth, but you know, some of the things that you will only see on a coach like this are things such as the Headhunter water pump, which will give you water pressure that will put your house's water pressure or city water pressure to shame. There is a very nice valve set up there as well in a secondary wet bay um, or plumbing bay on this side of the coach. There's also a nice entertainment center with a refrigerator and a drawer, and there is a ton of cargo space, all of which we will cover um, towards the end of the video when we talk about the compartments, which is exciting in of itself. Now let's go ahead and take a peek at the interior of this bus because it's quite stunning. Welcome to the interior. This coach is absolutely stunning. There are so many details and um, high quality materials that are used throughout the bus. Um, from the moment you step in, from the moment you're opening up the refrigerator to get a bottle of Coke, um, the coach just screams high quality. In fact, I don't think you can truly take it in on your first just simple walkthrough. Of course, when you walk through the coach to look at it, you could look at all the fundamentals, the condition, if you like it, whether or not you'd like to actually use the coach. But as far as admiring the sheer amount of craftsmanship and work that's gone into literally almost everything, that takes time. Um, so of course, being a quad slide, we have a massive amount of space throughout the bus, um, including our front living space. We've got opposing slides here, and as soon as you walk in, it's just so big <laughs> compared to your standard Prevo experience with either no slides in the front or only one slide in the front, because if you have a double or a triple, you're likely to have two in the back and one in the front or something like that. So this coach has a ton of space that's given with the quad. Another thing that helps is we have this beautiful tile flooring from the entrance all the way to the back. Actually, the stairway step will is slightly different, very similar, it goes and flows, but from this first step into the living quarters of the coach all the way to the back. It's all this beautiful tile. And um, in the front, we've got two couches here. Now this couch right here on the passenger side of the bus is loaded with a ton of outlets. We've got an extra LG TV right here in the corner, which can be enjoyed by the kitchen dinette in addition to whoever's sitting right here. There are also some controls. So we've got an RTI remote control. We do have iPads in the coach. Now the iPads are a bit older and one of them needs to be replaced, but they do work and the RTI system works excellently. Changing the iPads out is like a simple thing. That's the simplest thing in the RTI. But here's where um, I can just give you a small glimpse of all the materials used. Like you've got this beautiful material right here. All of these walls are completely wrapped and covered in it. It goes all the way in the corner. And then you've got these massive windows that are afforded to us um, by the Prevo bus shell. That's one of the things they're known for is massive amounts of window space because check out this front piece. So of course we've got a nice smart TV flip down. You press one button and it stows itself all the way up. There is a nice sound bar right here that connects. And all of this material up here in the cockpit is just layered in leather. These pillars, everything is covered in leather. You kind of forget how much leather is really in this coach. Um, because it's used everywhere. The cockpit is gorgeous. We'll talk about that more in depth later. There's a nice little display center right here. So there's a little bit of storage in them as well. Lights for each little display. I'm displaying my beautiful wallet. <laughs> um, now back here on the uh, driver's side, we are looking at our main large couch. Now this is a jackknife couch. So you just push a button in the back. It's actually not technically a jackknife. It just comes straight out. So then you've got 
a very large couch. And honestly, you could use that to just hang out and watch TV as well. I mean, why not? You know, if you're just trying to hang out, the two of you or something, that's perfect. Now this right here, we're gonna start talking about our kitchen space and galley space. This is a huge amount of storage. There are some stains in the carpet. Sometimes that happens if you've got a can or two in there and they leak out. Stuff like that comes free of charge, although you can easily recover this carpet in there. Um, that's not too big of a deal at all. There is a ton of storage. So you've got the drop down right here. You've got the just main massive storage under the sink and i love how they finished these accessory pieces of wood so you'll see this throughout the coach anytime there's like an accessory piece of wood which i define as like woodwork that's not visible um at first glance it's finished it looks just like regular wood but they've glazed it very well and they're all super well built with high quality rollers you can see how well everything is finished out even in there slide that back in and some of these drawers open at an angle. Like you see how they're coming out like that? Well, that is just to make the form of this beautiful galley space work along with having tons of storage. Now on the top of our galley space, first of all, we have a huge countertop space. There's a window back there and that window does vent open. This counter is absolutely massive. And in it, we have a dual burner electric uh, Kenyan stovetop. Now these inserts were replaced at some point, so they don't match absolutely perfectly. We've got a massive single sink with an Insta Hot. Now this coach does have the Aqua Hot, of course. And I love this little uh, divider slash protector here. Um, it's got like this shattered looking piece of glass in it that's absolutely beautiful. Um, and another thing that's absolutely beautiful along the lines of style, in the center of the coach, we have a waterfall. This is an electric waterfall with a backlight in it. So you flick it on and then you've got the sound of water running through your accent piece in the middle of the coach. And all of this very nice wood um, is absolutely stunning. I love when it's used just generally and they throw it at everything. You walk through the back of the coach, it's on the walls, it's on the ceilings, it's everywhere. It's a beautiful finish. And the accent lights are done in such a beautiful manner. You've got them in all the traditional places, like under the um, steps as you walk in the coach, you've got accent lights. You've got accent lights in all the windows um, that line it and make it look beautiful from inside and out. And then on top of all those places where you're used to seeing accent lights like under the counters and stuff like that you've got these beautiful accent lights that are tucked away up above specific cabinets um throughout the coach that almost make them look like they're floating they just look fantastic in the coach okay so this is our refrigerator to finish off the kitchen space this is a sub-zero refrigerator so there's a bunch of space in here and the Sub-Zeros just look so high quality. All these handles are just so much more substantial than your typical handle you'll see on a, on a refrigerator. And these freezer drawers are fantastic. You've got two freezer drawers down below, which gives you a ton of space to store things. And again, I love how this Sub-Zero looks finished and stainless. That's pretty timeless right there. Now this is our dinette. So the dinette curves around here. You've got beautiful countertops that surround the dinette. And where the countertop disappears, you've got finished wood that accents around all of the furniture up here. Um, so again, all the details, like this curved cutout piece of stone right there, and then the curved piece of wood, like there's so much effort that went into just that partition between the dinette and this couch. But this dinette, not only do we have a large amount of seating space, it does extend so this piece will extend and then the dinette itself will extend out so of course you have to put these in when you are in travel mode but once you're parked you can have this fully extended and uh, now you have a very large and very comfortable seating space where you can host people um, you can all be hanging out around here in this space eating food you've got this countertop here in the middle it's uh, very nicely done there's also a nice chandelier up here and check out this cabinet it's one of those cabinets that's very form-fitting um, we've got an RTI extender right there. So that piece just curves perfectly in there. It's awesome. 
Okay, let's step back here into the middle of the coach. There is a small amount of storage space down here. We're not covering all storage in this video right now. But right here, we've got a very accessible half bath as far as the space you have in here. You've got a push button toilet. You've got stone that continues up the wall a bit. There's this beautiful wood. It feels like an executive toilet in here. Storage back behind there, storage in there. And like the multi-layered wood here, like you've got wood there, wood there, it's all at different places. It makes it look like there's just more depth to this room and this space. Um, this is an interesting little feature right here. This is a touch faucet. So all you do is touch it to decide the pressure you want, and then you touch it to decide the temperature you want. And it glows and lights up, and it flows out of here in a beautiful stream of water. So pretty excessive just for the half bath faucet but we are in a prevo bus and finished by featherlight so all the stops have been pulled on this coach now this hallway um is typical hallway but we do have a ton of space right here so i'm going to let you pass by and then we can open up this piece so ton of storage in this coach that's what i really like about this floor plan is not only do we have so much going on and so much the, the space was what they were really going for in this floor plan. There's even storage down beneath there. And what I like about this piece is you've got like a shelf that slides out, kind of like the pantry. And don't, don't you worry, this is just the beginnings of the storage. <laughs> okay, now we're in the bedroom. And this is one of the most interesting features about this floor plan is we have a lounge style rear bedroom. You might be wondering, where the heck is my bed? <laughs> I need to sleep. Well, the bed comes out of that couch right there. So you push a button and it extends. Now you can leave this extended while you're camping, but as it is, why not have an extra lounge space? I'm in a totally separate living space from the front. And honestly, if it was just me, I'd be hanging out here. But if you had a bunch of friends over, you had a bunch of people you're entertaining, this is one of the most beautiful buses for entertaining your friends and for hanging out and tailgating and anything like that. This coach is perfect. Um, so of course we've got the couch. We do have a sharp TV that's hidden behind a painting. So there's a remote control that will drop this painting and cover up that TV if you don't wanna see it. You could turn it into a real headboard um, because when you look at it, as it stands, it just looks like a beautifully decorated piece. You've got these pillars, these wood pillars, you've got the vase, you've got all these nice things going on for it that makes it just look nice, but it works perfectly if it's a bed. Now there is a, um, an AI phone here. I think you can get a grainy picture of the camera at the front door. You know how it is on these older camera systems, but it does work. Um, a touch pad for uh, a touch screen for our air conditioning in the back, as well as our heat for second zone. So you can control the heat and all that stuff without having to leave your bedroom. And then of course, all the controls, typical controls. I love the countertop space and I love the added storage. So this is a wardrobe. This is storage. You've got three deep drawers right there. You've got more storage on the other side with our broken iPad. Um, and then opposing this slide on the other side. I mean, look how much space, isn't it incredible? We've got two full slides here and I'm just hanging on the bedroom, right? This is not a bedroom, this is entertainment right now. You push a button, it is a bedroom. But you've got another wardrobe right here with two um, shelves down below it. And a couple of the interior lights on these cabinets are burnt out. That's just a flaw that comes free of charge. Um, it's a really simple fix. So they have these auto lights that turn on and uh, you just have to, they're really basic. So that is a flaw that exists. Ooh, there's some outlets in there. I really like that. That's very smart. Now this is a, a nice little love seat. We've got another smart TV right here, an upgraded smart TV with a beautiful Sono soundbar, just like in the front. So we've got two Sono soundbars. And the last couple of things before we talk about the master bathroom is this huge wardrobe we've got here. So down below, you've got these polished wood drawers. The bottom two are super deep. The top two are deep as well. They're just a half measure of what the bottoms are. And then up top, you've got wardrobe space galore. And the ceiling is lined in cedar as well. And the rest is beautifully.
carpeted, carpeted. Now there's one extra shelf too, so you can like add one in there for a little more space. This bedroom is so big. All right, let's walk into the master bathroom. So the master bathroom um, is again, very spacious. You know, we've got a nice double sink setup. I really like it. Red tile, the small tile backsplash. And I like how they finished the little box um, where your outlets are in tile too. I mean, the amount of tiling, detailed tile work to do that is awesome. But there are four outlets in total. There's more up underneath. Now behind each of these mirrors are um, medicine cabinet space. So you've got a ton of space, more outlets, and there is just a lot of space in general underneath here too. And the wood is just gorgeous. I mean, this whole bathroom is stunning. The way this is set up too, I quite like. And there's obviously a huge space back there. But I love the arches in the wood, and I love this shower. The shower has this like beautiful brick, and look at the arch in this shower as well. So you've got all this wood, and then they built this whole structure out of stone. And the interior stone choice is gorgeous. Um, it somewhat matches the centerpieces in the tile and the backsplash in the kitchen. There's so much attention to detail. Even this ceiling is roofed in or is lined in stone. The little mosaic pieces that go in here, they make it look like that alone, like that strip just makes me feel like, like I'm at Caesar's palace, like actually in Rome. Anyways, this is gorgeous. I also like that all the materials they've used in here are not you know, very prone to having, showing any usage marks from water or anything like that. We've got a huge shower head here and we've got a rainfall shower up above and that stainless drain looks perfect. You know, that's something that bothers me is they use like cheap stuff. It's like, why would you, and you see it all the time. They'll do all this stuff, but not in this coach. Um, again, I just, there's so much, to, I love, this is my favorite part, the door. And this piece of glass is tented. There are individually two lights just for the shower room so very well lit too another push button toilet there is storage back there and just in general a lot of space in this master bathroom and in this entire coach thank you so much for walking through the interior with me i've quite enjoyed it it's a uh, very special coach let's go ahead and check out the uh the driving aspect i wonder how it's going to drive Let's find out. We are entering the highway now with the coach and it is definitely a Prevo bus experience. It's extremely solid. So we just drove the bus actually a couple exits down and then a couple exits back. Um, and unfortunately our microphone was having issues. So we had to go get a whole new microphone um, set up. And uh, now we are out on the road. So. Um, I have had the pleasure of already driving this coach, and it's an incredible driving coach. The transmission retarder, of course, is right there on the right side of the steering column. You'll see me slide that sucker all the way down. It's got six different positions, um, which really allows you to micromanage the amount of accessory braking you have, in addition to having um, steel rotor brakes all around. So they have some of the best braking systems you'll find um, on any coach, hands down. And on top of that, we have a transmission retarder, which like I said, has six different positions. So the stopping power is top notch on a Prevo bus. And you have to have that first of all, because we are in a quad slide Prevo bus with a GVWR of around 52,000 pounds or 54,000 pounds, something like that. So these are heavy coaches. It is unbelievably calm. So two things, thinking about this Prevo bus, you know, it is a quad slide, so you would be prone to think there are gonna be some more rattles, some more squeaks in here. Do you hear anything? I hope this, I don't know how sensitive the microphone is, but right now all we have are noises from the outside of the coach. And those noises are barely making it in. It's very quiet inside this bus. Another big thing I will say that I really love about this particular 2009 Prevo bus is the sway is a lot less. 
and that is seconded by Kaya behind the camera who uh, can be a little more sensitive to that than me uh, wholeheartedly concurs on that assessment. But the bus is quite incredible. Um, there's nothing you'll find that is less affected by semi trucks passing by. It's, um, it's incredible. But this coach right here is phenomenal. I mean, there is not a single rattle or squeak in this cockpit, in this whole bus that we can hear right now. And that is just something that once you get, I don't think you'll ever want to go to a coach that doesn't have, um, or that has rattles and squeaks and stuff because there's nothing in here. I hear my wallet rattling in this compartment. It's so quiet. Um, and this coach with the decreased amount of sway that you get compared to the older buses, in addition to being a Prevo H345, it just wants to drive dead straight. I mean, you forget the fact that you're driving such a big vehicle. You just sit here and it's unbelievable to drive a Prevo bus, especially one like this. So the first couple of storage compartments that are behind the front axle um, are completely passed through massive amounts of storage and um, we are currently viewing this from the driver's side of the coach. And as you can see, those doors swing out. So they've got these, uh, these excellent, super well-built mechanisms that allow the compartment door to just go out completely sideways and be um, unhindered by the slide. Now, of course, we've got these very nice, high-quality, super slide slide trays. They can take a 1,000 pounds each. And as you can see, the hardware on these slide trays is just fantastic. All the control panels and uh, electronics are super well labeled. We've got dash panel um, for the buttons up there, the multiplex switches, AC control panel, or ventilation uh, fans for all the electronics. You can hear them running. Now on this side, we've got our second pass-through storage compartment, fire extinguisher here. And this pass through um, is a good example to show you what a lot of these bays are lined with. It's a nice looking material, kind of looks designer in a way. It's speckled with paint, um, which is pretty cool. And it's a very hard, tough, durable material. So of course, we've got all the maintenance manuals, uh, original. We've got uh, some accessories for the wheels right there. And an extra shock comes free of charge. I'm sure it'll make the deal, make or break it. <laughs> Okay, let me shut these compartments and we'll get to the next compartment. And by the way, as we pass through these compartments, it's worth noting, um, I think I mentioned it before, but we've just got a couple um, cracks on the lower panels. It's unfortunately quite common on H3s. So this storage compartment right here is our 20 kilowatt PowerTech generator. We've got bypasses for our two 4,000 watt inverters, um, as well as a generator start power selector between our two banks of batteries on the coach. This is our uh, two main breakers for our inverters. And then back in here, we've got our 20 kilowatt power tech generator, airbag suspension. Um, airbags are low right now. There is a small air leak on the back left of the coach. All Prevo buses pretty much have some level of air leak. Um, there is an accessory compressor we're gonna talk about. Now this has 6,000 hours on it and it runs perfectly. We do have auto gen start on this coach and um, these power techs are turbocharged. So you got a turbo right back there, four cylinder turbo, 6,000 hours is nothing as long as you maintain them right. And from this angle here, you can actually see our inverters. Now there is a towel rack out here, which is nice. You can keep like a service towel rack. And this design on the hinge is the um, alternative hinge. There's three types of doors on this coach. There's the classic bus door, which raises straight up. There is the um, sort of unique swing out doors um, that you get under the slides and stuff. And another form of the under slide compartment are these doors that just open like a regular old door. And you get this extremely well-built mechanism on all the doors, but including this one. It's just, I mean, seeing it operate is incredible. 
Now this compartment's already open. This is our entertainment bay. And we've got a uh, smart TV out here, Samsung. It's on a huge, um, very <laughs> high quality. Everything is just high quality on this coach. High quality swing out arm that will extend pretty far. And you've got the electronics that go out with it and a nice built cable. Now this is our pull out refrigerator freezer on a drawer with a nice mechanism. And if I'm nitpicking some flaws, it's a little chip down here on the wood. It's a couple little imperfections, but not bad. This is an updated smart TV, and we also have an updated added um, Sono sound bar out here, which is pretty nice. See, this is a regular bus style door. Now this is our passenger side secondary wet bay. This is where we've got another set of inverter breakers as well as a 12 volt main breaker and uh, some other stuff that's related to our aqua hot and stuff like that. There are electric bay heaters so I actually missed one. There's an electric bay heater in our storage compartment um, pretty much everywhere so there is one up here. There is a thermostat um, right here for the rest of the bay heater system um, or the bay heat that is in your compartment right here because this compartment is where all of our tanks are located. And look at these super high quality valves for the toilets. I love the fact that we can easily shut it off. There's a nice little tank drain. Um, of course, we've got a uh, mana block so you can cut specific areas off in your plumbing. Awning button right here, exterior lights. And under two of the slides on this coach, we've got these nice LED under lights. This is one of the slides. Under lights under here, they look fantastic at night. There's a hose bib so you can get water out of the coach, you know, if you want to wash it or for whatever reason you want coat water coming out of the system, um, whether you're plugged into city pressure or tank or using tank water. You can also fill your fresh tank from both sides. And um, back here is where we've got a heater, we've got a water pump where it's plugged in, extra plumbing bay outlet. There's a couple filters around here. This is our Mach 5 Headhunter water pump. This is a top-notch water pump that will make the water pressure in your house seem insufficient. It's gonna shut this. Love how all these storage compartments close. And in the very front of the bus, you pull that, that tab right there and it releases the mouth. <laughs> it drops its jaws and um, you've got some horns. You can just see basically this empty space, but uh, there's a grill in front of it. But generally it just gives you access to your headlights and stuff like that. It's just nice to have and you see it on the Prego bus.